Hello YouTube, it is your girl Carrie OK, and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can achieve full drag makeup using only $1 products. Yes, that is correct. Every single product, every single makeup product that I put on my face only cost a dollar each. Um, so the reason I wanted to do this video is we have a lot of newbie queens out there right now that are just getting into drag. They don't have a lot of money or they're on a limited budget. And I just wanted to prove to you that it is possible to get a beautiful drag makeup look using only $1 makeup. Um, you know, drag, let's face it, it's, it's a beautiful art form, but it can be expensive. You know, you have to buy the clothing, the costumes, or the fabric if you're going to sew your own. You have to get shoes, you have to get jewelry, accessories, wigs. All of that stuff adds up. It's not cheap. Um, but there are corners that can be cut, and I think a definite way to cut corners is with the makeup. You don't need to buy super expensive makeup to achieve a beautiful look. Um, so I'm going to show you the products that I used to achieve this particular look. Um, most of the products that I used are from uh, a website called Shop Miss A, shopmissa.com. All of the makeup products on that website literally only cost a dollar. So... Um, Definitely check them out if you've never if you've never been on that website before because they have really really cool makeup for a dollar each. Um, so we'll start off with foundation. I used this. This is the Amuse Matte Finish Foundation in the shade Nude Beige. Um, it's a it's a decent foundation. The problem that I've always had with dollar foundations, um, we have a saying in the drag world: "Cover girl, don't cover boy." And that's the problem that I've had with a lot of uh, dollar foundations is that they just don't provide enough coverage. When you're doing drag, you need a real full coverage foundation. Um, so that's the problem that I've had. Although this one was a little bit more fuller coverage uh, than other dollar foundations I've tried in the past. But this color didn't really match my skin tone perfectly. So I actually mixed in this Santee two-in-one concealer and foundation. I know there's a little glare there from the light, but um, I actually mixed in this one. This is in the shade Creamy Beige. So I actually mix these two together. Sometimes, you know, when you're doing beauty on a budget or drag on a budget, drag on a dime, you have to improvise. So if one thing doesn't work, you kind of have to mix and match improvise. So that's what I did with these. I mixed these two colors together. I applied it all over my face with my fingertips and then I took a, a beauty blender to blend it all out on my face. These don't blend quite as easily as a more expensive foundation, but they'll work. If this is what you have to work with, you can make it work. Um, and if you don't have a beauty blender, you could even buy a pack of cosmetic sponges from the dollar store and those will work just fine. Um, so that's what I used as my foundation. Um, I contoured a little bit with this, uh, beauty treats. It actually says it's a concealer, concealer crayon, uh, smoothie, cr smooth, creamy coverage. It actually really was very smooth. I applied it kind of just, you know, to contour my cheeks underneath my chin, a little bit on the forehead. Uh, normally I prefer a darker contour. Uh, this was a little bit light. It's kind of more of a tan color, if you can see that. Um, so normally I prefer a darker one because I like a darker contour, but um, this worked. And like I said, the consistency of this was actually really good. I was surprised with the consistency. It actually blended out very easily with the Beauty Blender. It was actually easier to blend out this than it was the foundation. So that was that's a good product there. I set the foundation with this. Now normally I prefer to use a loose powder to set my foundation. I just think loose powders... Um, they provide, you know, more coverage. They really mattify the face and they really set the foundation, especially if you're going to be wearing your makeup for several hours. You need something that's really going to set the foundation. Um, so I think loose powder is better for that, but I couldn't find a dollar loose powder. Um, they actually had one on the Shop Miss A website, but it was sold out. So I had to get this. This is the Clinista Pressed Powder. This is in the shade Natural. Uh, now, because I wasn't using a loose powder... Um, I kind of really had to dig into this powder to get, you know, a heavy, uh, a heavy amount, a heavy amount of coverage because I wanted, uh, normally what I do with my loose powder is I really pack it all over my face and then I take a big fluffy brush and brush off the excess. Um, but since this is a press powder, I kind of had to really dig into it to get the product out. Um, but I made it work. Like I said, when you're on a budget, 
you improvise, you make things work. So that's what I used to set my foundation. And then because I wanted a little bit of a darker contour, since uh, that contour stick didn't really, wasn't really dark enough, I went in with a powder contour. This is the Santee Mineral Pet Pressed Galaxy Powder. As you can see, it has this darker contour shade and then a bronzer shade on the outside. Um, and I took this darker shade and applied that again to carve out my cheekbones under the chin, uh, a little bit on the sides of my nose and on my forehead. So I used that and then I used a little bit of the bronzer shade on top of it just to give me that bronze look along with this Clean Colors bronzer. This is the Clean Colors Tanned Roar Shimmer Bronzer in the shade Waikiki Summer. Really, really pretty bronzer. I actually really like this product. Let me see if I can open it. Hang on. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's really, really pretty. It has a light shimmer to it, but it doesn't have like any chunky glitter um, or anything like that. It just gives you a nice soft glow. So I put this a little bit on my cheeks, a little bit on my forehead. I did the sides of my nose. Um, this is a really pretty bronzer. I actually am really pleased with it. Who knew for a dollar? Um, and then for blush, I used again a fantastic product. This gorgeous starry blush. It's the brand is starry. It's called the Lux blush. Uh, the color it doesn't really have a name for the color. Um, but it's a really pretty warm, like peachy color, really perfect for summer. Just a, the perfect shade of peach. I really, really love this blush. You can see it. I applied this just to the apples of my cheek and I blend it out a little bit. So you can see it's really pretty. It gives you that pretty peachy glow. So I love this blush. Um, and then since I couldn't find a dollar highlighter, again, what I said about improvising, I took this Clean Colors uh, five color eyeshadow palette and I took this gold shade, this gold eyeshadow, and I used that as my highlight just underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, um, um, and a little bit around my face. So I used this as my highlight. Oh, I wanted to add, I forgot, I did use a concealer underneath my eyes to hide my dark circles and to just kind of brighten the under eye area. I used this Santee Super Smooth Concealer um, as my concealer under the eyes and I blended it out. So I forgot to mention that, so I just wanted to mention that now. Um, as far as my eye makeup goes, I used this Santee Professional Eyeshadow Palette. This is the only eyeshadows I used on my eyes. Actually, I lied. I used, again, that same gold shade as my highlight for my brow bone. But all over my lid and my crease, I used this palette. I used this lighter shade all over my lid. And then I used this kind of rusty brown shade as my crease color. And then I blended it out with an eyeshadow blending brush. Um, this is a hidden gem. Not everything that you're going to find, not all dollar makeup is going to be wonderful. Some of it's going to be absolute garbage, I'm going to be honest with you, and you're just going to want to throw it away. But you will find those hidden gems. And for me, this eyeshadow palette was a hidden gem. The shadows are super smooth. They're not, you know, powdery. You don't get a lot of fallout from them. They're extremely pigmented. Um, as you can see, if you can look at my eyeshadow, they're very, very pigmented and they're smooth and they're nice, nice quality for a dollar. So um, if you ever run across this, I know that they have it on Shop Miss A's website, the Santee Professional Eyeshadow Palette. This is in color number two. Fantastic eyeshadow. Highly recommend it. Um, for my eyeliner, I used this Amuse Precise Liquid Eyeliner uh, in black. This is, again, another hidden gem. I was surprised how many good products I was able to find. This Amuse Liquid Eyeliner is, as you can see, it's, it's really, really black. It dries fully matte. Um, and it has a really precise applicator that I really like. As you can see, it has kind of like a small tapered tip, but it's firm. It's not flimsy. So you can get a really sharp, precise line, which I like. Um, and the color is nice and black. This is actually a really, really good liquid liner. So if you stumble on this, this is the Amuse Precise Liquid Liner. Uh, fantastic eyeliner. I really, really, really like it. Um, let's see, what else did I use? Um, I did wear some false eyelashes. And I used these. These I actually got from Dollar Tree. These are the Colormates uh, False Eyelashes. This is in Diva. 
Uh, these were the only ones they had left at my local Dollar Tree. Um, normally I prefer a more separated, longer eyelash look. These are a little bit more thicker. I don't know if you can see. It's hard to see. I know. I'm going to try to close my eyes. Um, these are a little bit thicker, which I usually don't prefer, but they're actually a good eyelash. And if you like that real thick eyelash look, then look out for this Diva uh, one by Colormates. Um, but they actually have a lot of different ones. They were just kind of in limited supply uh, the day I went. But they actually have a lot of these Colormates eyelashes. I've used them in the past. Eyelashes, I feel like, are one of those products you don't need to spend a fortune. Um, you can make these cheap eyelashes work. They, for me, I don't, I can't tell the difference between these and an eight dollar pair of eyelashes from Walgreens or whatever. So, um, highly recommend those. Um, and I set everything with this mascara. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't like dollar mascaras because they don't do anything. They don't volumize. They don't lengthen. They basically just darken your lashes and that's it. So I don't, as a rule, I don't like dollar mascaras. I think that's probably one product that you should spend a little more money on. But for the purposes of this video, I wanted to stay true to my word. I did use a dollar mascara. This is by LA Colors. This is the Wowie Lash. Not really a fan, but since I was wearing false lashes for this look, um, you know, I made it work. I just basically used it to kind of blend in my own natural lashes with the false lashes. So for that purpose, it worked, but don't really like it. Um, but again, not everything's going to be a winner. There's going to be some losers in there. You just kind of have to play around. You will find hidden gems, I promise. On my brows, now normally if I was doing a performance, I just did this makeup look for the purpose of this video. But if I was actually going to go on stage and perform, I would normally... Uh, glue down my eyebrows with a uh, glue stick. I put three or four layers of glue stick, let it dry each time, and then cover it with makeup and then draw on the eyebrows that I would want. And that way you can do a real dramatic eye makeup look, real dramatic eyebrows, uh, if you want that real drag look. Um, but since this wig kind of had bangs and I was just doing this look for this video, I didn't go through all that. I did kind of fill in my brows a little bit with this Clean Colors Brow Pomade, which kind of is like a dupe for the Dip Brow. Um, it's not as pigmented as Dip Brow, obviously. Um, the consistency is not as, as thick. It's a little bit more watery. It's a little bit more thin. It's not watery, but it's, uh, you know, it's just not as pigmented, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I made it work. For this look, it, it worked fine. Um, and then what else? What am I missing? Obviously my lips. Uh, my lips, really, really simple. I did kind of like an ombre look. Mm, I love, love, love these um, full ombre lips. Um, so I did kind of an ombre lip look. Sorry about that. Um, this is the Clean Colors Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Espresso. Um, so I lined my entire lips with these. I have naturally full lips, but I did overline them a little bit on the top. Uh, and I really darkened in the corners and around, just fully lined my lips with this. And then I went in with this, uh, also by Clean Colors. This is the Clean Colors Matte, Madly Matte Lipstick in the color Cafe Noir. Um, great, great, great lipstick. Um, so, um, it has a little bit of a weird smell. You'll find some of the cheap lipsticks do kind of smell weird. Kind of has like a cheap perfume smell. But, I mean, as far as pigmentation, I think it's decently pigmented. So I went over my entire lips with this. I went over all my lips with that. And then I went in with this. This is another hidden gem. This is the Amuse uh, Glam. It's called the Glam Liquid Lipstick. Um, and it doesn't really have a name. I think it's just called Color Number One. It's kind of like a deep... So the lipstick that I used, the actual lipstick, the Clean Colors lipstick, this was Cafe Noir. This was kind of a warm brown. This is also a warm brown, but it has a touch of burgundy, kind of a touch of, of, of red to it, kind of like a reddish brown. And I actually just put this around the outer corners like this, just around the outer corners, and then a little bit over the top and bottom part like this. So you can see the motions that I'm doing, um, just to provide a little extra definition. And then, since I didn't have a dollar nude lipstick and, you know, I wanted to stay true to my word, I wanted to use only dollar products for this video, 
Um, since I didn't have, I have nude lipsticks, but I don't have any dollar ones. So I went in with that same concealer that I used under my eyes, and I actually used that on my lips, just in the middle, just in the pout of my lips, just right there in the very center uh, to kind of give me that ombre effect, you know, darker around the corners and lighter in the middle, uh, just to kind of emphasize the pout of my lips. I actually used this concealer. Remember what I said about improvising. Sometimes you have to improvise. Um, when you're on a limited budget and uh, this worked this concealer worked just as kind of like a highlight on my lips uh, so that's what I used for my lip look so that kind of concludes this video that's all the products that I use to achieve this look and you can do it too you don't have to spend a fortune you can make dollar makeup work if that's all you can afford or that's you know you're just starting out you don't have a lot of money to spend like I said the clothes and the accessories and the wigs are already expensive enough so you might as well cut corners where you can and I think makeup is a good way to cut corners um, if you do have a few extra dollars to spend then I would recommend putting that towards a foundation because like I said a lot of the dollar foundations they don't provide sufficient enough coverage for drag makeup um, so you may want to put your money towards a fuller cover found fuller coverage foundation. Um, my favorite one, uh, as far as drugstore foundations go, is the NYX Mineral Stick Foundation. Really, really like that foundation. I've been using it for a while now. Um, it's a stick foundation, so it really provides you that really full coverage that I like. Um, so if you have a few extra dollars to spend, you, you might want to put that towards a, a full coverage foundation, as well as mascaras, because I still have yet, in the nine, ten years that I've been playing around and experimenting with dollar makeup. Um, I have yet to find a decent dollar mascara. I still haven't found one. Um, so you may want to put that money also towards uh, a slightly more expensive mascara. But again, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara is amazing. That's like six or seven dollars. Uh, Maybelline Colossal Mascara, the Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara is good. L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara is good. So you don't have to buy, you know, ex anything super expensive, but you may just want to spend a few extra dollars on your foundation and uh, mascara uh, and your loose powder. Um, I like to use the Cody Airspun Powder. Um, but, you know, if you're on a limited budget, you can definitely make some of the dollar products work. As you can see, I did this entire face. Give you one last uh, look here. This entire face, the eye makeup, the cheeks, the foundation, the lips, this was all, all done using only dollar store makeup. And I don't think it really looks that bad. I could actually go out on stage um, in front of the big spotlights and everything on stage, and I think this makeup would actually work. It's contoured. It looks good. It doesn't look bad. It's smooth. It's blended. Um, a lot of it's the technique. If you're good at putting on makeup and, you know, you have a passion for it and you have experience doing it, you can actually make cheap products work. I'd say a lot of it has to do with the technique and the, the person that's applying the makeup versus the actual makeup that's being used. Um, so I hope you liked this video. I hope this was helpful for somebody. Um, and I'll see you next time. All right. Bye, guys.